Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another episode of How Did You Do That, Didid Fuentes. <laughs> Whoa. Deneen. <laughs> That's serious. This is take two. Okay. I think we're getting better at this. I think so too. All right, so. Still sweating a little. Here is, <laughs> I can smell. <laughs> here is our before, beautiful blonde. Here is your after, now really dimensioned, low light, beautiful blonde. All right, so take us to how you got this look. So what I did was she already had a little bit of a grown out root. So what we did was I actually kept her bright around her face. So we put in a couple highlights just around her face and I just slow lighted the crap out of her head basically. Bunch of low lights to break it all up. And then I used that same low light, which was a level four and it was like a, a golden red okay. tone. And I used that same thing to pull down a little bit of a root and I combed it through while everything was in foils. So I think what's important for some of the people who are watching who are new to doing color is it doesn't look like a golden red in the picture, but because she was blonde already, you had to almost fill in the missing yeah. pigment from what you lifted out of her hair. So it wouldn't look green or muddy. Yep. So I think some people might be a little confused of why you actually use that and how come it doesn't look like that. So it's really important that if you're doing color and you're doing a low light in somebody, you have to add a little warmth to the formula or else you'll get some weird muddy green color. And so we did that. Mm. And then for her all over toner, actually, it kind of looks like I did two different toners, but I didn't. I used a level six, a level, a warm level seven, and also a little bit of an ash of a level seven. And on her ends, it kind of looks like I didn't put anything there, but it's because of the porosity of her hair and how blonde she was down there. So she kind of got like a two different types of looks going on there, but everybody like a lived seems in to love blonde. it. Lived in yeah. blonde. Yeah. Yeah. But ready for fall at the same time. So a lot of things I think people who are, uh, who are just getting into color don't realize, A, you got to fill the hair, mm -hmm. either with a filler or by adding some warmth to the formula, but B, the porosity plays a big part in how the same formula plays on different parts of the hair. Mm -hmm. So if you're toning somebody and the ends have been beat up by heat and been bleached out, it's not gonna tone just like someone's root. So yep. keep an eye on that because you might have to rinse the ends sooner or you might have to rinse the root sooner and then retone the ends if you want it to be balanced. But in yeah. this particular picture, it really worked well and it has like a nice flow, a nice lived-in look. I've had a lot of people ask for this color, but everybody's different, so you can't do the same formula on them because their hair might not be as blonde, or like we said, the porosity might be different. So and if you want more information on that, you can watch the video here where I explain expectations. All right, so any questions, please reach out to Deneen. She is located on Instagram at... Hair by Deneen. How do you spell Deneen? Because people are probably like, is it Deneen yeah. or Deanne or... I got it, it's Rob. I'm just kidding, we're gonna spell it I right didn't here. ask for it. What color font do you want? Mm, purple. All right, boom, that was purple. All right, and you have questions on this particular video that you want me to answer, leave a comment in the comment box below. All right, see you guys next time. Thank you, Dean. I appreciate Thanks. all your creative, artistic ability and explanation of what you did to achieve this before and after. Thank you. Goodbye.